So in module 1.1, we're talking about data information and metadata. And these two questions correspond to the learning objectives that we're going to be uh, trying to achieve. We're gonna know the difference in data and information, and we're gonna talk about what is metadata, okay? So we have a Pull Everywhere question coming up uh, right now. So we have this number, uh, 2397111317, what does this number mean? What is 2397111317? No idea, yeah, me, me neither. It could be a lot of things, right? Phone number, a segment of pi, I bet it's in there somewhere. We could use this as a, as a primary key. This would probably be an artificial primary key, right? But we could use it as some type of identifier, but even then it doesn't really mean much. Multiple things, phone number, some value. Yeah, it's, hmm, it's difficult, it's difficult to know, right? But what if we, what if we did this? What if we put some parentheses around the 239 and we put a dash between the 711 and 1317? I think someone guessed maybe this was a phone number, but if we had seen the this data in this format, it would have been pretty clear that it's a phone number. And in fact, we can go a little deeper. It's a phone number for uh, kind of Southern Florida right here, right? Because that's the 239 area code. But if we had taken this same exact number, 239-711-1317, and we had formatted it like this, well, okay, now we're not considering this a phone number, right? This is uh, latitude and longitude, like GPS uh, coordinates, right? So now, that, that data, this number, 2397111317, doesn't represent a phone number in Southern Florida. It represents this uh, point right here in, uh, in Africa, right? Or if we formatted it in a slightly different way and we said this first character, it's either going to be a one or a two to represent a male or a female. And then we put a dash here and a dash here in these last 10 uh, characters. That's looks kind of like a social security number or something, right? So maybe this is a number that's identifying one of the employees in our company, right? But the point is, with this raw data, with no context, with no understanding of what it means, is this number uh, 2397111317, is that very valuable? Eh. If we don't know what it is, then no, that's really not very valuable, right? So data in and of itself is kind of raw, unorganized facts. But then when we apply some structure and we apply some context to this data, it becomes information, right? And if you think about, you know, just this unorganized pile of rocks, well, really in this current state, it's not providing a lot of value to whoever owns this land and this pile of rocks is really kind of in the way, but there is some inherent value in here that we have to uncover, right? And by organizing it, we can create something that does provide value, right? So data by itself, not very valuable. It's just a bunch of junk that we've got to deal with, right? But when we deal with it, when we process it and add some context, it becomes information, which is what is valuable for making business decisions or for AI algorithms or for understanding our customers and things like that. So the way we transform this raw data into useful information is through metadata. Okay? It's, it's the lens that we use to understand what data means. And it describes the properties of data so we can infer information. Metadata is data that describes our data, okay? So here we have another pile of, uh, pile of numbers here. And do we think this is data or, uh, or information? And let's see, oh, oh gosh, a lot of things are happening here. Let's see, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to see how many people have responded. Yeah, you guys, uh, most of you, 92% of you, 93% of you, say that this in its current state is data, not information. And I have a feeling that there is probably some value that we can pull out of this, but in the current state, like this is not providing a whole lot of value, right? But if we take this 
and we apply some formatting and give some context to it and maybe we separate out these data elements that are separate or by the commas right we add some column headings here we apply some formatting we have the exact same numbers here and here but now all of a sudden this has a little bit more value to it right we have some context to it and we can understand that by looking at this this looks like it's probably some type of, of ledger, right? Maybe uh, someone's bank account or something like that where you have some dates, you have a customer ID, a vendor ID, some charges, and a running balance. So yeah, it looks like maybe some kind of bank ledger. So this is becoming more valuable, more useful as we've applied context and transforming this from data into information. And then we could take this even a step further and take these kind of mysterious customer IDs and vendor IDs and link this together and now understand that it's not just customer 345, 84, 44, 75. Well, that's our customer, Tom Neville, right? And he spent 2213 at Target on December 1st, right? And this is Hal Wilkerson who spent 885 at Taco Bell, right? And so we take this raw data, we apply context, we combine it with other sets of data so that we can turn it into information, right? So as we go further down this path and we kind of apply more context and we apply this data and information to some business problem when we perform analytics, we can get a better understanding of our customers and of our business processes and trends in our environment. And that's what data analytics and business analytics is all about, is taking data, transforming it into information, and then ultimately transforming it into knowledge that we can apply to business problems and get a better understanding of the world around us, right? So data is raw and unorganized. Information is data that is in context, this context that's transformed to have some meaning. And then knowledge is the ability to understand information and form opinions and make predictions and decisions and things like that. And that is really kind of the core reason for information systems to exist at all, is to convert data into information and ultimately into valuable knowledge okay so going back to these learning objectives that we talked about early or at the beginning of this module data is raw unorganized and not of a lot of value in its current state whereas information is data in context and and really being able to kind of suss out that value uh, from the data and we do this through the use of metadata which is data that describes our data that puts the data into context okay We'll be coming back to these ideas, uh, you know, quite a lot.